Hi, I'm Sean with Site One here today with Kevin from Hunter. What's going on? Kevin, today we're talking about controllers. And you've had controllers for a long time. The X Cord, the Pro C, the ICC. Now all of a sudden I'm seeing two pop up. The X2, the P2C, the ICC2. What's the two about? Well, it's evolution, right? We want innovation. We continue to drive innovation from contractor feedback at Hunter Industries. But one of the things we hear every day from contractors, do not get rid of my dial. I love that dial. When I walk up to a controller, I can have three homeowners standing behind me and it feels like a big warm hug and I know I'm not gonna screw it up and I'm gonna look like I know what I'm doing. So with that, the evolution to the two is that we're adding more features to the controller to improve contractors efficiency, which should positively impact their profit margins as well, and bringing the latest technology in so we can make smarter decisions faster for the contractors and their clients. So of these three controllers that you've added the two to, how do I know which one to use when? I can break that down for you. Very, very simple fashion. What I've got on my lap right here, we'll call this the baby, this is the X2. If you're one of those contractors that you're apprehensive to technology, but you know it's about time you started to embrace it. Entry-level smart solution, your X2 controller has all the same features of your Pro C, what you've come to know and love with the dial, and simply to turn it into a Wi-Fi based hydrowise controller, you add the accessory of the wand. By inserting it into the side into the side of the controller, you now have remote access and tote the features that Hydrowise offers. Gotcha. So when would I move to a P2C? Okay. If you're north of 14 zones, but you're south of 32 in terms of a station count. Some of the upgraded features on the P2C is we have two sensor terminals. So if you're operating as a standalone controller, you can have a solar sync as well as a click-based sensor. If you're operating with the Hydrowise front panel, which can easily upgrade onto that model controller, now you have the ability to have a flow meter as well as a click-based sensor. Now, you can go to 23 zones conventionally, or we make an easy decoder module for that, which will allow you to go to 32 zones as a ceiling, four of which can be conventional, and the other 28 can be two-wire. So it's a combo. So I have a, the workhorse of controllers here That's that covers right all kinds of properties from four zones to 32 zones in a hybrid that I can move out to Wi-Fi if I want. I'm also noticing a couple other things you thought yeah. about. Pre-installed pigtail. 100%. SKU consolidation. SKU, so no more outdoor indoor. One model. And I don't have to mess with the line voltage. Not at all. And I'm noticing also to swap out this faceplate. Very simple here, I have a faceplate here. Sure. If I want to upgrade it to this Wi-Fi, just this little click. That's it. And I'm in and out. You know, we came out with that with the Hydrowise front panel and the feedback was tremendous. They said, we love it. It's so simple. It snaps on. Profit is dictated by efficiency of labor hours. And that's just one more thing where the other one was a little hokey, took, to, took a little longer. So we streamlined the process. So when would I want to move away from the P2C to maybe something bigger, something with more features? Sure. If you need to go north of 32 zones, and you're looking at running multiple programs simultaneously, and you want two different software platforms to choose from, whether it be Wi-Fi, hardwire ethernet connection, or cellular connection, along with having flow, 54 stations or less, conventional two-wire, a combo of both, that's when you're gonna go IC2. So 14 zones, 32 zones, the I2C at 54 zones. That's correct. And I have the capabilities of different choices based on the different controllers for communication options, flow options, and weather data. So Kevin, with this next generation of controllers, what are the key things I need to remember? Number one and most important is time, right? We only have so much of it. Contractors are trying to do more with less. Time These controllers right. will save time. Number two, they're gonna save water. They're gonna save the consumer water and a byproduct of saving water typically means you're saving money as well. And that's never been a bad thing. Kevin, you are passionate about controllers and doing the right job. I wanna thank you for coming in today. My pleasure, thank you for having me. If you haven't tried Hunter second generation controllers yet, you're missing out. Give them a try, you will not be disappointed.